Hello, WordPress users. Thanks for checking out another episode from How to Webmaster. Today, I am reviewing and testing out Jetpack by WordPress. I've actually installed this Jetpack plugin a few years ago, but I never got around to、uh, using it. Back then, it was a little bit complicated to use, and I didn't really like it. So, Jetpack is a plugin that seems to do a lot of things, like keeps track of your stats. Related posts, some SEO, and it does social sharing、um, and security, protection, backups, and speeding up your site. So it does everything, and that seems pretty amazing. Anyhow, I've already、uh, installed and activated it. So here is the welcome screen once you install Jetpack. So now you can activate the、uh, WordPress security and performance tools. By setting up Jetpack. All right, that seems pretty good. So let's set up Jetpack right here. You will need to have a WordPress.com account in order to use Jetpack, which is free to make an account. And then you need to authenticate your WordPress account with your Jetpack setup here. So go ahead and approve. In this next screen here, they try to upsell you with some professional premium plans, and at the bottom here, it says start for free. So click on this right here, and in the next screen, you get this welcome message saying that、uh, your site is protected, and this is your new WordPress.com dashboard where you can manage your site. So that's pretty weird already. Why do I need to manage my site from WordPress.com but not directly from my own site?、Uh, why have two dashboards? So that is not too efficient. Okay, so here on the left sidebar, you see the stats, the plan, the site. So this entire sidebar is、uh, pretty much the same as your WP admin. No difference so far. And you can go back to your WP admin by clicking here. So yeah, I don't see the point in using this dashboard when I already have my own dashboard. Okay, anyhow, let's set up these other things here. Let's do the security setup first, and it takes you back to the WordPress.com dashboard. And here you can do a few things like get alert when your site is offline. I guess that's pretty useful. But and apparently there's a problem saving my changes. Now let's see if I can click on this to prevent and block malicious login attempts. Okay, that worked.、And、that's pretty much it for settings,、uh, for the security settings. Let's save. And this anti-spam thing is you need an upgraded plan. All right, let's go back to my WP admin again. All right, let's make my site faster. So click to enable. Okay, that seems pretty easy. And enable lazy loading for images to improve my site speed. And everything down here seems to be、uh, premium features. Let's go back to the Jetpack dashboard. So this is where you can view your site stats. So I guess with this, you don't need to add in your Google Analytics since Jetpack already monitors your site stats. And then these other security features are not free, so like backup, daily scans, and anti-spam. So that's kind of weird that they didn't mention this it, when I was installing the plugin. I thought these were free, so that's false advertisement right there. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for WP Jetpack. It seems to be a pretty bloated plugin with a bunch of these features, but honestly, I still don't like Jetpack, and the setup was. Slightly confusing as well with the two dashboard. Not sure why that is the case. Not necessary. So anyhow, that's my review of Jetpack. Thanks so much for viewing. Be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more internet marketing tips, tricks, and more WordPress reviews. Thanks again and happy blogging.